Welcome back to Factorio MSX Gigabase. Okay, so um, last we left off, we were up here at the oil, fixing up lube, or trying to. Um, it won't really get fixed until there's a demand. I changed the um, layout a little bit. Uh, one of these uh, pumps will be enough for the uh, cracking of the heavy to light. So we've done that, and... Um, We've echoed the same basic formula all the way across. Um, and yeah, you're going to be out of luck, I think. There's not really much there for you. Anyway, um, that is the lube. Now, you'll notice I've also cleaned up all of these uh, hazard warning lights. Um, it has helped the construction manager. We're down to point two last I looked it was actually point three so um, maybe it's just winding down now I don't know but it's still point two I can't really afford um, I have implemented into my mod the use of the um, on nth tick functionality that the developers put into point two four um, I think it's saving about uh, point zero one maybe point zero one five it's something. Um, it's not a lot, but it is something. Um, I am thinking how I can, uh, you know, replace this one with uh, functionality embedded in here, but I don't want to pollute this one with um, unnecessary work, but it could be a bit more efficient. I have seen this one jump up to close to 0.3, which is just a bit too much, really. Uh, as you can see, everything's pretty quiet right now. Um, we have slowed right down on everything. Um, and I have started uh, implementing, let's call it the six pillars of um, our fight back against the UPS. Uh, well, um, our fight to ensure science, really. So the first one is we needed... Without question, we needed more iron, and I've chosen here for the more iron. Um, we are going to actually let's um, let's go to Invini Zoom, trusty Invini Zoom. Zoom out until we've got no you well FPS until we've got no FPS. Grab this image. It kind of fits. Uh, forget. Forget the bit that goes up and down over here, because we're only interested in the bit that connects this way. We'll connect directly into the trunk line, I think. Uh, kind of round about there. It misses, um, it misses all the patches of iron. Um, and I'm just checking, really, to see if I am high enough. Um, I am... I look like I need to go way over the top a little bit further, but I don't need to fill out this whole lake, but I do need to fill out this whole lake. Um, and what else do I need to do? Um, we need to go up a little bit higher, a little bit higher than this island through this bit here. All right, that's useful. Um, what I might do while I'm waiting for the landfill train, whoops, we're going in the wrong direction, because I've already uh, done all of this as landfill. Um, and the landfill train is uh, booked to come here. In fact, here it is now, so I guess we will grab the landfill train, make the most of it while it's here, and then we will put in a 4 to 4 intersection here for our um, new iron smelter. And yes, I know, why are we building a new iron smelter when our UPS is not yet under control? Well, that's the only way we're really going to get back to science, building, um, getting back to building the iron that we need. And uh, we do want to get back to science pretty quickly. So what are the six pillars? Well, Iron. We need another iron smelter. Um, the iron and copper, uh, the first ones, the original ones that we built, uh, we need to change them over to the new design, 
which um, will save a bucket load of UPS. Um, now we said we needed to fill this in up to just above here, didn't we? I'm sure that was the case. We didn't have to fill in the whole bit of lake, so I guess we won't. Um, now the problem is we're actually quite a long way from landfill 3, which is the only active landfill at the moment, so the round trip by the landfill train does take a fair bit of time. Um, we're talking pillars though, aren't we? Pillars of um, our fight against UPS and our return to our uh, bid to finally get science up and going. Um, so we've got, um, we've got this iron. We have um, fixing up fixing up the old iron and copper, so that's three. Um, then we have uh, new modern designs for um, red circuits to implement, that should be interesting. And um, processing units, I'm currently doing about 20,000 processing units. I have a new design um, in mind for them as well with our new formula. Um, but we're also going to be able to cut down processing units, I think to about 11,000. I think our actual demand, um, when everything including the uh, launching is happening, is in the order of 10,700. So if we go to about 11,000, we should have a, a bit of a surplus so that um, if we need to build modules uh, for constructions while we're doing our science, we'll have a little bit of reserve to be able to do that. Um, and likewise, I think with red circuits, it was something like... Um, 55,000 we need, and I'm thinking of building um, about 60,000 capacity. We actually only have about 40,000 at the moment, so we need to increase the um, we need to increase the amount. Um, but we should be able to do it with less entities overall. And that's the exciting thing. I'll take up more more space, but um, less entities. I really can't wait to get the whole thing operational. Um, I don't think even with the UPS savings we will get that will quite have um, a non-infinite researched base operating at 60 UPS at uh, 6 launches per minute plus 6,000 science per minute. But we might not be too far off and a bit of infinite research we should be there. That's certainly my hope. So I guess we'll see soon enough. Um, it doesn't take that long to empty one of these uh, landfill trains, even a 383. I'm glad I didn't go with something smaller. Um, all this we're running over is landfill, other than, you know, that was an island, I think. This is where it started. Huge bodies of water everywhere except where you really want them. I really don't know how um, I could go about building a base of this magnitude without all the landfill. There's just too many um, places where you completely lose land. Um, even land bridges that I know you can get for train tracks uh, with one of the mods that's out there would um, not really help that much because we just need lots of real estate to build stuff on. That's really what it comes down to. Um, and we need it conforming to our existing massive size stacks. So I 
guess what I'll do with this, because uh, watching me running backwards and forwards with landfill is probably not the most riveting experience. Um, especially now that you've had pretty much everything explained. Um, is the train still there? Yes it is. I'll just get this last load and then we will build on the intersection for um, our new furnace stack and uh, see exactly where else we need to put landfill. Um, then I will probably cut, uh, finish off the landfill, uh, maybe come back for the blueprint, um, see if we can lay down the supply um, the supply depot and um, maybe even at that point um, you know just leave the supply train to it while we go off to uh, the copper copper 2 and iron 1 and see what we can do about um, changing them to our modern uh, furnace stack array Because there's certainly a significant saving with the much lower number of um, much lower number of inserters and the much lower number of entities overall required for the same output. Certainly, getting quite close to uh, not to not be needing the um, like these internal patches if we don't expand to this one. And now, admittedly, that is a 67 million iron. Um, but if we don't expand to that, we have just 1.7 million here, about a hundred here. 2.5 million here. Oh, and there's a more significant patch over here, 25 million. So this one will take a while, but if we increase the uh, volume of trains on it, um, we can probably wear it down fairly quickly. So the amount of time that iron will need to be coming in um, to this area is certainly... Um, not going to be too much longer. Are there any other iron patches of note? 23. I mean there are a few patches in here that we could make a point of um, getting to. But eh, whatever. Alright, let's get our stuff. Let's get this exit set up. And in a way, I guess I probably should just get um, get them done because uh, the sooner I clear them out, the it'll be clear for for good, which um, you know is probably or could be worthwhile. All right, let's bring you to about here. Jump out nets use our clear signals. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. So I guess we are building over that bit of coal there. It got in the way of our main line. It's just too bad, you know? That's how it works. Um, we need the four to four, is it? Actually, it might be just a four to two, in which case I t whoops, I took too many. Took enough for that, but the um, oh, you can't see it. Uh, it looks like it's a four to two. So, all right. Four to two down. Oh yes, fix up good old faithful here. And 
then I guess since it's only a 4 to 2, we had better um, restore the signals here and at this one. There we go. Um, right. Now, uh, what I want to do is basically say, well, I don't need this stuff. I don't know how effective, if at all, I'm being in terms of getting rid of that. Uh, maybe we were effective. Um, no, maybe not. I'm not sure if that was landfill or iron. Alright, well it doesn't matter. We will um, attempt to place this now. And obviously we will need to um, do a little bit of editing afterwards. Right. I think that is it. So, um, bots out for a moment. Let's run over here and just tell it no thank you to this stuff. Yeah, that is pretty much um, no, except that it has thrown down some duplicate items along here which we don't want. those um, we don't want this stuff and we don't want this stuff that's about all so I think this must be the copper at some point in its time so there might be a little bit of extra editing required um, that will be okay. Um, oh, is our train back? It is indeed. All right. Well, um, we've probably lost quite a lot of this into the sea, so I guess it makes sense to bots, not just bots, everything out, and, what, oh, okay, that's, um, that's interesting, um, yeah, let's, um, dump our stuff, let's grab the landfill, I may have placed that all a little bit early, so I forgot I haven't, um, finished off All these bits, I don't care. This is just holding up purple science, but purple science is fine. Can afford to be held up a little bit. Now, where are we short? Huh. Damn 
trees. Yes, we are missing some signals and things, and this wasn't quite high enough. Okay. But we don't actually need to go all the way over there. We can just do it from here. And, um, okay, so here as well, kind of missed out. I think rather than trying to stamp down our uh, pattern um, over this again, which is going to be very challenging. Yes, it's the copper one that I tried to put down. It might even be worth um, ripping it up and putting the steel one down in its place, but it'll take the same footprint, it just won't need this stuff, for example. And at least this tells me where I need to landfill. that the better an idea I think it is uh, okay so you guys all sort of settle on about here These maps are so huge. And then there's all the landfill to get to, the mines. It's just ongoing. I'm going to try and choose three um, ore sites that will be large enough to support uh, eight trains, I guess, each, and see how that goes. There you go, that does seem to be about right. So it looks like we need pretty much all of this. Now let's see what we can see at the other end. Kinda looks like the start of the stacker or some sort. Where are we? Um, it looks like we might actually be too far. What if we need to go too far? I'm not sure. We probably did need to go too far. Um, well that's where the main stacker is. What does this look like again? Oh yeah. So we got this, then we kind of... Um, break into... Oh, that could be the unsupported uh, turn-off. 
So there is quite a bit more we need to build across here. Um, let's keep that happening. Oh, my nukes are over here. That's dangerous. Very dangerous. I think I'm just going to pause rather than just show you the rest of this. Okay, um, I have recopied the um, copper four over here and um, stamped it down here. Um, we more or less have this part all um, where well you can't see under map view, but um, yeah, it's all here. Um, this is the revised one. It's hard to know if you've got a revised one or not because, and I've wiped out all of this because the um, last time we were ordering 720 furnaces instead of 504, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, it's off, isn't it? Yeah. So this time, um, let's order our 6,000 rail. Our um, we better make it 6,300 of them. So we'll probably kick off a little bit of action in the uh, uh, factory, in fact. Um, 1300. Uh, 1100. Making more modules. This should probably end us, uh, require us to make more modules. Um, 640 617 I don't need to round these numbers up because they're not actually rounded numbers they are kind of exact quantities um, at this point 504 furnaces instead of the old 702 um, 303 <laughs> I might just get 300 because I'm sure I've already put a few down. Um, I might just get 240 of them, even though a bunch of those have already gone down as well. 202 of those. Um, that's all right if we overorder because they can just go back on the supply train anyway. Uh, the rubbish train, I mean, of course. One one eight. Forty two lamps. Actually, are they lamps or are they publishers? They might be publishers. So I might just uh, I'll just get fifty lamps just so that I've got a running stock because they're used in publishers. In fact, I should possibly um, even... I think I've got enough of um, all the rest, really. Uh, oh, 22 train stops. I'm not sure about that. Um, and uh, 4,800 uh, logistic bots so that each section can have 800. I think that's what we did. Alright, deliver me that lot. Have fun. Has that demanded um, more no. We have tons of um, Modules, so we're not demanding more. Oh well. That's always fun. So that will be quite a while. 
Um, I might even just let it do its thing while we head off to... Uh, well, we could actually start looking at where we're going to expand to. I mean, that 50 is probably pretty likely. Um, what's that? A 245. What's this one? 133. Um, if we did use this one, we'd have to bend this line that's trying to go straight down here around, which we can do. Um, let's just take those guys out, get our proper legs in. Yes, yeah, so this is the one I'm talking about. If we have a look over here... Yes, this is where the rail is coming down. We appear to have lost the side of it. But that's okay, and it stops there. So there's no reason why we couldn't wrap around here. And then this one can come up and join in um, after the uh, fuel. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to work because I knew I only had six. Um, we do need some more landfill to make this work. Do we have landfill there. So I guess I can fill in the landfill here and here that we need. Um, yeah. So I guess that one. I'm not sure if we can get enough trains on that one. That one. Because this guy can he needs to extend to another one, but he can start extending up this way. There is a lot of iron to use up this way. We can extend to this one. Um, and we can uh, also come up here and start our reorganization of this stuff. How did we get 80,000 iron in there? I'm guessing that's down here somewhere. It's excluded, so I don't know. Um, what I could do is create buffer chests here. And then we can rip out everything but the buffer chests. We'll probably have to make a hole here. In fact, what I'd really like to do, I don't think I can see though. No, I'm going to have to go over there. I'd like to see just how big the um, the image is. Um, oh, that goes slopey, doesn't it, in the other way. Um... We don't have to start down here. We can push up as high this way as we really need to. Um, so I can actually rip out all of this. All of this. Yeah. Alright, um, so yeah, we'll finish off the landfill and uh, connecting this up um, and leave the supply train to make its journeys. I assume it's all okay. Um, it's picking up track at the moment perhaps. So yeah, we can, when it started making a few deliveries, we can come back here after we've finished the landfill. Um, we'll then head over to copper and try and make copper work. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to have to manually move all of these trains out of the way. Uh, 
um, which will be joyous, I'm sure. How far away is copper? 12 million, 3.8, 4.8, 14. And there's a bit over here as well. 10. It's not that far either. Um, I don't think we're having much joy with the lube. Lube needs um, plastic to drain to make these things kick off and um, refill. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for joining me on this one. We have started Iron 5. Um, we have a lot to go. We'll get on with it over the coming few episodes. We'll get these pillars sorted. We'll get copper and iron sorted. We'll then um, work on uh, this beast here and making our new beast even better than this beast. Can't wait. See you then, guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye for now.